Hey, Drop Tech fans! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates about Samsung's One UI 7.0. Despite facing delays, the beta update is finally on its way, and it promises to redefine your smartphone experience with a fresh set of animations, transitions, and a brand new feature that might feel a bit familiar. Curious? Let's dive right in. The long wait for One UI 7.0 beta. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the rollout of the One UI 7.0 beta update has been slower than expected. But according to reliable sources, it's almost here. While the exact release date hasn't been confirmed, the buzz around its features is building excitement for Samsung fans. A new era of animations. Let's talk about the animations and transitions, arguably the most exciting aspect of One UI 7. Ice Universe, a trusted tipster, recently shared some fascinating details. The screen on animation has a soothing wallpaper shrinking effect. Unlocking your phone comes with a satisfying bouncing animation. The pull-down motion introduces a spring-like rebound effect. Opening desktop apps feels smoother, thanks to a new floating style animation. Returning to the desktop, that now includes a sleek icon pattern zoom effect. Samsung has also added a parallel animation for quickly opening multiple apps, a sliding animation for returning apps to the desktop. A press rebound micro animation in settings. Updated UI transitions for widgets, including lock screen music controls. And there's more. Real time notifications in the desktop bar now feature elastic animations, giving the interface a dynamic and polished feel. User feedback will shape the final product. Here's the best part Samsung isn't stopping there. Once the beta launches, these animations and features will be fine-tuned based on feedback from internal test users. So, if you're part of the beta, don't hesitate to share your thoughts with Samsung, it's your chance to help shape the final version. The beta will initially roll out to Galaxy S24 series users in South Korea and the USA. A few days later, other markets, including China, Germany, Poland, and the UK, will follow. Introducing No Bar a game-changing lock screen feature. Now, let's talk about No Bar, Samsung's innovative answer to Apple's dynamic island. Leaked images have given us a glimpse of this exciting feature, and it looks fantastic. With No Bar, Galaxy users can view real-time updates and important information directly on their lock screens. Positioned between the lock screen shortcuts, No Bar features a sleek pill-shaped design, blurred background for enhanced readability, Integration with apps like Samsung Clock's Timer and Voice Recorder. Essentially, think of Android's Call Timer Pill, but taken to the next level. Samsung has polished and expanded this idea to include more dynamic and functional elements. Future app integrations and user control. Currently, Nobar works with stock apps like Clock and Voice Recorder, but there's speculation that third-party apps will also adopt this feature soon. Samsung is also giving users the flexibility to disable no bar if it doesn't fit their style, ensuring you have full control over your lock screen's appearance. Call Samsung Spain recently made a small mistake that gave us a big reveal. They accidentally published an official web page for One UI 7, and while they quickly took it down, it was up long enough to confirm some incredible features. The page even showcased the official promotional video for One UI 7, a video that had leaked about a month ago. And yes, if you've been following us, you know we covered it back then. Now, it's officially legit. The first thing the video highlighted was the redesigned app icons. These new icons are more vibrant and detailed compared to what we saw in One UI 6.1. Samsung seems to be focusing on making the UI visually richer and more modern. We also got a sneak peek at a revamped lock screen. It includes a pill-shaped battery indicator and introduces a brand new feature called the now bar located at the bottom of the screen so what's the now bar it's a tool that gives you quick control over live activities or background notifications with it you can pause or play music start or stop voice recordings and manage timers all from the lock screen and here's a cool trick if you tap the now bar while music is playing it expands into a full screen media player this is one of those features that adds a whole new level of convenience to your daily interactions but that's not all. Speaking of the lock screen, One UI 7 will bring new widgets in various sizes and even transparent widgets for your home screen. We've also got news about the quick panel. 
According to a sneak peek shared by Ice Universe, the quick panel is getting a significant redesign. The new layout features horizontal sliders for adjusting volume and brightness, which are fully customizable. You can arrange these sections however you like, making the experience more personal. Samsung has also focused on enhancing the animation fluidity in One UI 7. Opening the Recent Apps tab or switching between apps feels buttery smooth with no lag or frame drops. These subtle but meaningful updates make the UI experience much more polished. So, when can you try all these features? Samsung is set to release the One UI 7 beta program this month, likely in the first or second week of December 2024. If you're not a fan of beta versions, you'll need to hold on a little longer. The stable release of One UI 7 is expected to arrive in late January or February 2025, coinciding with the launch of the Galaxy S25 series. The leaks just keep coming. Recently, we saw refreshed app icons for several native apps and updates to their UI. These changes show that One UI 7 is still evolving, and it's exciting to see the design progression. One of the updated apps is already available for download, the One UI 7 voice recorder app. It's fully compatible with devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and you can give it a try. The download link is in the description if you're interested. Speaking of the voice recorder app, Samsung has made some notable improvements to its design. The interface now looks cleaner and more streamlined. For example, the list of recordings displays the time and date on the left, while a prominent circular play button is on the right. For those comparing the old and new versions, it's clear that the One UI 7 voice recorder app has undergone a significant visual upgrade. If you decide to install this app, you'll need to do it manually using the Samsung My Files app. Users on One UI 6 might have to disable the auto blocker feature to sideload the app. However, if you're hesitant about installing from an unofficial source, it's okay to wait. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you're as excited about One UI 7 as we are, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.